Howdy folks, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. There's a compilation of some M46 pattern games I've played on Quickie Baby's live stream, which I usually join in about once a week. Uh, me and the M46 pattern, obviously. In this match, it's an encounter battle on Malinovka. Quickie Baby is in his AMX 5120. I've just unlocked that myself. I don't have the 120mm gun for it yet. But I, I like it a lot more than I like the AMX 5100. Even using the same gun as the 5100, that 100mm DCA 45 gun, it's much, much better gun on the AMX 5120. But the pattern, I think, is rapidly becoming my favourite tank in the game. And I do like all of the tier 9 medium tanks. I don't think there's a single bad tank amongst them. The Lorraine is great, the Patton's great, the T-54 is great, the E-50 is great, the Centurion 7-1 is great. Um, this one, probably my favourite. Um, Certainly at the moment, I'm just having such good games in this tank. So, we've got a very, very good scout player down there. That T21 spotted almost all of the enemy team coming up the woods and survived well into the game. He didn't just throw his life away needlessly. And we've decided we're going to come up here and take the top of the hill, because I also have very, very good view range in the pattern, 410 metres. And I'm going to see what we can see up here. And the first bit of trouble that we really run into. Uh, I'll take a cheeky shot at a tiger in the woods down there. Quickie baby's coming up with me, but in a tank with an autoloader you cannot hold a position alone. You need somebody to back you up. And, oh, there, E50. We need to kill this guy. Generally speaking, if the enemy team, and look at this pattern, the vertical stabiliser, just, just, just rarely misses when you're firing on the move. I'm going to do 900 damage to this guy without stopping <laughs> in my first two shots. But the French autoloaders, um, they're you can't hold positions with these guns because once you've fired your shots and you're reloading that magazine, if you're alone, you're screwed. Nobody there. You need people there to back you up. And I'm basically <laughs> leading the attack on the hill here. And we couldn't kill that E50 in time. Type 59 takes a shot at me, bounces. I put another one into him. I'm damaging all these guys, but I'm just not getting any kills. And I need backup here now. I'm down to half my health. And I know artillery's going to be looking at me. Now, I've done enough damage to these folks that they're not keen in coming out and facing me again. Um, Type 59 gets one into me, but now here comes the cavalry. Here comes, and um, there we go. And um, boom. <laughs> Hubble takes out the E50. Quickie baby puts one into the Type 59, two into the Type 59, kills him. I get a side shot into the E75, and suddenly that E75 is not feeling quite so brave. Now that he's seen what's waiting for him up here, and all of his friends have died. Now, I've been beaten up pretty bad here. Uh, that T21 is still down there. He's still spotting most of the enemy team. We've just taken our first loss, which was kind of bizarre. Ah, the E75. E75 is on minus one. That explains a few things, because we've just lost our T44, but the enemy team are on no kills. So it looks like the E75 helped us kill his friends on top of the hill. That was nice. Let's see what I can spot using the wreck of the Type 59 as cover. Get one into the Tiger. Back up, back up. Artillery's trying to kill me. And I'm, I am taking some chances here. Probably more than I should have. Now somewhere down there, there's a T25-2. And he starts putting... I mean, the angle is bad, so he hits me there. Artillery takes another pop and misses it again. T25-2 hits me in the tracks, doesn't kill me. And this is a dubious decision. I mean... I nail that E75, but it does 430 damage to me. So was it worth it? Well, turns out that yes, it was worth it, but with a, a slightly worse team, that could have been a bad decision. And there we go. <laughs> Stern Panzer 2. There's two of them in this game. A failed platoon. Uh, that guy has, what, 160 health? Fired, hit, with this gun, penetrated, did no damage. Story of my bloody life when I'm shooting at artillery. And I'm not going to get the second shot at him. Or I am, but it's going to be a fraction of a second too late. There you go. IS kills him from up on the hill beside me. And I've been spotted again. There's still a Hummel. I'm not keen on, on dying in this game, but oh, everybody's going for it. So quickly, baby's reloaded. He, look at it. He's, been, he's racked up five kills from the top of this hill. I really, really like that tank he's driving. I can't wait to get the 120mm gun for him. 
And now, yeah, here we go. This is this game's over. I mean, this game's well over. We're winning 13-2. One friendly fire kill from the E75 is going to be a 14-2 win. And I'm not going to get the Hummel. <laughs> Even if I was the first one to find him, you just know I wouldn't be able to kill him. That's just the way this bloody game works when I'm driving and shooting at artillery. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. And a cheeky kill by the ELC AMX. He fires and kills him while on the move. So that was an all right game. That was uh, 1160 XP and 44,000 credits. And, and these machines do not make a lot of money. Um, you need to have a game like this to, to run a profit on these things, even with a premium account, because the ammunition costs and the repair costs are so high. But I ran a profit out of this one. And then a couple of weeks later, I had another pattern game with Quickie Baby on his live stream, and the results were interesting. And here it is. Uh, this is a very, very different game. It's Himmelsdorf, it's a tier 10 match. Um, they have an E100, an IS7, and a Batchat. And then there's a couple of tier 9s, and it's mostly tier 8s. Plenty of artillery. Unfortunately for them, it's Himmelsdorf. I'm in my pattern again. Quickie Baby's in his T-54. He's really, really enjoying that T-54. He has a different gun on it than I do. He has, um, I can't remember the name of the gun, but the, the D-54C, I think, uh, was the, the top 100mm gun on the T-54, and a couple of patches back, a new one was introduced that had slightly better aiming time, slightly better accuracy, but not as much penetration, and it just gives you more options. Um, it's, it's a slightly better sniping gun than the D-54C gun on the T-54. And with gold ammo, that gun has over 300 millimeters of penetration. So Himmelsdorf, encounter battle, we're going for the hill. Who's coming with us? Yep, T28, ST1, IS7, T110 E3's turning around, he's coming this way as well. Okay, if we're going to do this with this many tanks, we need to be aggressive. And this ended up being a, a really frustrating game for Quickie Baby, because he's he's in a T-54, it's a tier 9 medium tank, and he ended up tanking this corner against all of these bloody heavy tanks, while there's an IS-7 sitting behind him, just refusing to do his job. <laughs> and of course the team, noobs, all going for the hill, retards. Yeah, well, if it's stupid but it works, it isn't stupid. I'm kind of worrying about this flank. Uh, and Quickie Baby's got his hand. But look, this E100 driver did not have a clue. He just didn't have a clue. Quickie Baby kept blowing his tracks off and keeping him pinned there. Um, it, was, uh, it was humiliating to watch. Keeping an eye on what's going on behind us, because they've pushed for the hill quite strongly as well. Oh, we're just pummeling this E100. He didn't have a chance. But have a look and see what's going on behind us. You know, come on, guys. Well, <laughs> medium tanks here, heavy tanks there. Um, what's wrong with this picture? And there's Quickie Baby's first kill. Good kill as well. Enemy E100, gone. But check this lot out. There's a lot of tanks coming around the back there. Um, We've got an IS-7, he's gone up to do his job, and he's down to 200 health. That's not looking good. There's an IS-8 with him, and he's backing up. And this IS-7 just... Really, really frustrating game for Quickie Baby. Look what he's holding off there. He's had a fight off that E-100. Now, there's an Amex 3090 and an A-103, and this IS-7's using him as cover. What the hell's going on? So, this IS-7's done his job. Um, and I take a big hit there, but it's worth it. I kill the T-30. And he's, you know, he's not interested in taking another hit. So he's, he's fire support now. There we go. Nailed the T-32. And now, and again, Quickie Baby's just stuck on that bloody corner with an IS-7 sitting behind him. And if the IS-7 would just move up, Quickie Baby could go around, get around the M103, and instead, the IS-7 will not bloody move, and, and that AMX-3090 ends up getting away. But, and I'm having, a, I'm having great fun. <laughs> I'm just absolutely cleaning up on the top of this hill here. Took one hit from a T-30, totally worth it. Did a metric butt-ton of damage. And now, finally, Quickie Baby can, can you know, do the whole medium tank thing. Get moving, get mobile. 
and we come screaming down this hill and artillery see us and they go scuttling into the shadows like the cockroaches they are <laughs> so quickie baby's going down that side and this was amazing um, this is the pattern firing on the move with a vertical stabiliser fitted watch this <laughs> this just never happens to me never ever ever happened the quickie baby can't believe it either like whoa did you yeah didn't even slow down but you know <laughs> watch this <laughs> I managed to do it twice and quickie baby's going after the Lorraine 155 but as he comes around the corner there's a T28 sitting camping around the corner puts a shot right into him immobilizes him Oh, and then he gets set on fire. No. Blow his tracks off. And, uh, well, well played T28. Unfortunately, that's all you get. Yeah, I've got you now. And the ISM finishes him off. Now, Two artillery kills in one game. You know, who are you and what have you done with the real jingles? But there's a third artillery, and I've never earned a Pascucci's medal. So I, I, I kind of get the scent of glory in my nose here. <laughs> I'm going after that Lorraine 155. I need to kill him. And it gets me into trouble. Bit of a glory hound here. I mean, this game is still not in the bag. We could still lose. And I go around after the arty and fail to kill him. No, he fires, he misses. Or was it the no, the IS? That, oh, he does. That was the IS-8 who fired at him and missed. And then I take another hit from him. And now I'm getting shot in the side by the IS-3. So I get my Pascucci's medal for killing three artillery in one game. But it costs me my tank. And there we go. Well played. Well played, the enemy pattern driver. And, you know, that guy's on four kills, so... Getting killed by him is no disgrace, but if I hadn't been so keen to go after that Lorraine 155, I could have finished this with Pascucci's medal and the Top Gun. Unfortunately, my greed for glory got me killed. But it was a good game, and we did end up winning it. In fact, that was 3,500 damage done, 1,600 experience, and 50,000 credits. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying driving the pattern, especially platooned up with Quickie Baby. And you can see all of these games from his perspective uh, if you have a look at his Twitch TV channel. Link in the video description below. And it's always linked on the front page of, uh, of my own YouTube channel. Um, just to remind everybody, I have a Facebook site up there now. So uh, it's just much easier to post a notification when I'm going to be live streaming uh, on the Facebook page instead of having to make a video to announce it on YouTube. Facebook's just so much better than YouTube for doing that sort of thing. So again, link to the Facebook page in the description below. Hope to see you at the next live stream. Not sure when I'll be doing it next, uh, but when it happens, I will make sure that I notify everybody at least a day in advance. As always, take care on that battlefield, and I'll catch you next time.